If you like water and waterfalls, this is your trip. These spring-fed falls are sure to make it to the top of your list. Grab your water shoes and camera, then join us as we share our top three places to visit while near Decorah, Iowa. Are you dreaming of an adventure with your family, but the hurdles of planning a trip stand in your way? Let us take the guesswork out of it for you. From where to go and where to park, to what to expect and what to pack, we have you covered. Let us help you experience an outdoor adventure made easy. The northeast corner of Iowa is known as the Driftless Area since it was missed by the last glaciers. This has preserved the rugged feel and has formed the backdrop for many an adventure. While we are up in this neck of the woods, we love to spend time near Decorah. Decorah is in Winnesheek County, Iowa, one of the northernmost counties that borders Minnesota. There are three places near Decorah we love to hit. Number three, Melanophy Springs. Melanophy Springs is one of my favorite places in the state of Iowa. This is an area that can be paddled or hiked to. For this video, we will share how you can hike to it. The Melanophy Springs State Preserve parking lot is easy to drive right past. If you're coming from Decorah, you take Pole Line Road, then take a right onto W20. It is just before the bridge over the Upper Iowa River on the right side of the road. The parking lot is small and can only fit a few vehicles. After finding a spot, you hike toward the back of the parking lot to find the trailhead. This hike took us approximately 25 minutes one way with the kids. The trail itself is beautiful as you traverse the bluff top and surrounding timber. The trail is well worn but not regularly maintained, so be prepared to hop over and climb under a few downed trees or branches. The hike is relatively flat until you near the waterfall. Once you arrive at the springs, you will know it. This area has an upper and lower falls. We like to climb to the upper falls first to see where the spring flows from the rock. The boys climbed up the steep section in the bluff while the girls and I played near the water. While climbing the rocks above the spring, be sure to use extra care as this is a super steep section. After taking in the view, we then hiked down the waterfall toward the river to the lower falls. This is our favorite part. The water cascading over the moss covered rock is gorgeous. Half of the water flows over the most photographed part. The other half falls over the adventuresome route. Near the base of the waterfall, there is a small mechanical cave that you can climb through. The fun is the cold water that is showered down on you as you climb through. This is a fun little addition to this beautiful area. After exploring for a bit, we turned around and headed back to the parking lot. Although the hike is longer, it helps to keep this area more remote. We were the only ones there when we visited midweek. Number two, Dunning Spring. Dunning Spring is a city park in Decorah featuring a beautiful waterfall. The parking lot is just off Ice Cave Road on the northeast side of Decorah. From the parking lot, it is just over a tenth of a mile to the base of the waterfall. As you hike up the paved trail, the stream runs directly beside it. Our kids like to dip their feet in the cold water stream and see how far up they can walk in the cold water. Water from the falls is close to 45 degrees year round. Once you are to the base of the waterfall, you have a grand view of Dunning Spring Falls. We first like to hike across the bridge and up the boardwalk steps for a beautiful view of the upper section of the waterfall. For those that are feeling adventurous, we like to hike back down the steps and scramble up the rocks to the top of the falls. This top section of the falls is my favorite. The stream is narrow here and you can really feel the power of the water. It is also amazing when you look up to see how much higher the bluff is. It is fun to scramble over the large limestone boulders until you have made your way back to where the water flows from the rock. 
it is back in a narrow little cave-like section. Just be careful of the slippery rocks. After returning to the parking lot, Ice Cave can be found by hiking up the closed Ice Cave Road. This is a unique cave that has ice in it late into the year. Several years ago, there was a rock collapse that blocks further entrance into the cave, now leaving only about 10 feet to explore. We skipped on a visit since our kids were wearing out and it's not as interesting as some of our other stops. Before we unveil the top place to visit near Decora, check out this fun bonus stop, Decora Fish Hatchery. The Decora Fish Hatchery is home to Sewer Springs, the second largest spring in Iowa. Just off Sewer Spring Road, this area is easy to find. After parking in the lot, you will hear the sound of the falls. And just a short hike up the paved trail, you will find it. Although this is technically a spillway, not a waterfall, it is still beautiful. This area is the most accessible trout stream in the Midwest, has some amazing hiking and biking opportunities along Trout Run Trail, has a gorgeous native prairie, and is the home to the Decorah Eagle Nest across the road. However, what was most exciting for our family was the trout rearing station. It was fascinating to see how some of the water from the spring is piped over to the fish station. We had our kids walk the route of the water from the spring to the trout. The trout are kept in different pools based on age and size. The smaller trout are close to the spring, while the older trout are in larger pools at the far end. For 25 cents, you can get some food to feed the fish, but be sure to remind your kids not to touch them. Our favorite part was to see the big pools of water with the larger trout in them. There is a section of the larger pools that you can actually walk out onto to better see the trout. Dozens of Iowa streams are stocked with trout from this very hatchery. You can check the kiosk to see the locations of the different upcoming trout stockings. The Decora Fish Hatchery was a great stop for our family to enjoy. And finally, the number one place to visit near Decora, Iowa is, drumroll please, the Upper Iowa River. This is a wild adventure and worth adding to your list. The clear water, limestone bluffs, and cold water springs combine to make it an awesome trip. Our favorite section to paddle is Plymouth Rock to Bluffton Access, which we stretched to a two-day trip with our kids. Along this route is where you will find all sorts of fun, such as a cold water spring you can paddle right up to. The brave ones can even sit in the frigid water rock bars to search for fossils such as gastropods, crinoids, and horn corals. A stunning view of Chimney Rock along the bluff line. An area we like to call the gatehouse that is a fun place to play and explore. The impressive Bluffton Bluffs which rise to 280 feet and stretch to a half mile. And the ever entertaining Jump Rock which allows you to perfect your cannonball skills. For more information about how to plan your Upper Iowa River trip, be sure to see our separate video devoted to just this trip. What to pack? For these areas, I suggest you pack water shoes and bug spray. Since Melanophy Spring is a bit of a longer hike, water and snacks might be worth adding to your pack as well. On all of these locations, I like to wear quick dry clothes just in case I decide to hop into the cold water. The Upper Iowa River trip has a separate packing list found in its video to better help you prepare for this adventure. Melanophy Springs, Dunning Spring, Sewer Spring, and the many springs along the Upper Iowa River make for some wonderful destinations to explore. If you are a fan of cold water and beautiful sights, this is the trip for you. Looking for other adventures around the Midwest? Be sure to follow us at Outdoor Adventures Made Easy on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.